Hello everyone, this is part one of TechAdam.com's review of the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Since most reviews of the MacBook Pro focus more on the hardware aspect of it and the looks of it, uh, we're going to focus a little bit more on Mac OS X and the software of the MacBook Pro in our review. So for part one, we're just going to look at the ba basics of OS X and just get you familiarized with it so you know what you're getting into if you're thinking about getting a MacBook Pro. So let's start off here with the dock. Right down here we have the dock. It has all of our applications in it that we've selected to be in it. Now, any open application is going to show up in the dock with an arrow right there. As you can see under iTunes and Firefox and Dashboard, etc. That means the application is open. Now, I'm going to go into iTunes here. And... play a song here and I'm gonna go over here and X out of the application now Windows you would think that the application is like you completely quit out of it but actually in OS 10 clicking the X button doesn't always mean that you're X out of the application the application is usually still running sometimes it'll completely close it but in order to completely close an application, you're going to want to right click on the icon in the dock and quit it. And that's pretty much it for quitting applications. Um, you can minimize applications into the dock. For example, I have Firefox Windows showing Google right here. So I'm going to go over here and click the minimize button and that brings it down here and so if I ever want to go back to that I just click on it and it'll bring it back up um that's pretty much it for the dock except for you can do some fancy things if you right click right here go to dock preferences which basically you can just get it how you like it uh, minimize using the genie effect or the scale effect not that big of a deal the position on the screen for example, I could move it to the left, and right now it's on the left of my screen. I'll move it back to the bottom because that's where I like it. You can turn magnification off, which, as you can see, the buttons aren't getting bigger as I roll over them. And if I turn it back on, they'll get bigger, of course. And uh, that's pretty much it for the dock. I'd like to move on to the Finder, which is basically like my computer in Windows. As you can see, it has my documents, my movies, my music, pictures, um, Macintosh HD, which is basically like going to the C drive, applications here, the library here, system, etc. And Finder, it's not that hard to get used to. When installing applications, you just want to go to Basically, you're just going to download it from a web browser. You'll either get a zip file or TMG, I think it's called, or just the plain DMG, which is the disk image. And if it's a zip or a TMG or something like that, another, yeah, whatever. If it's one of those, you're just going to double click. It'll extract it from the file, the disk image that is, and then you just run the disk image. Or actually, I think you just drag the disk image into your applications folder. And that pretty much installs it. Then you eject the disk image. And then you can just throw anything else in the trash. And speaking of the trash, this is your trash right here. And so I can empty it by just right-clicking, empty trash. And if I want to drag a document into the trash, just click and hold. I'm going to drag it down here put it in the trash. And on to another big feature of OS X is Dashboard. So I'll just click on the Dashboard icon. A bunch of little widgets are going to show up. Go around here, show you all of them. Just got a bunch of different widgets. Notepads, of course. Um, you can add more Oops, by pressing the plus button. So if I want a calculator on there, just click that, 
and it'll appear right here. Kind of cool way of animating it. And then if I want to X out of it, just click the X, and that'll disappear. So now on to Expose, which is a really cool way of managing windows. Basically, you just press Function F9, and it'll spread out all your windows evenly in a 2D form. I personally like it a lot better than 3D Flip, I think it's called, in Windows Vista. Because you don't, it's basically, Windows Vista's 3D Flip is basically just like Alt-Tab. You just need to keep going through, whereas with the 2D way of spreading them out in Expose, you can just easily click a window, like let's say I want to go to Terminal, just go there, back to Firefox, and I'm there. And you may have noticed that I'm just dragging my mouse into the upper left hand corner and spreading them out in expose instead of pressing function F9. And so that brings us to system preferences which is down here. And with the system preferences you can do a bunch of cool stuff. It's mostly just personal preference. Um, you can change the appearance of it. Set active screen corners as they call it which I have my upper left set to all windows bottom left set to dashboard and a cool feature also is the desktop active screen corner which uh, if I just drag my mouse down here it'll hide all my windows so I have a clear desktop and I can get right to my uh, Macintosh HD right here and then if I want to bring the windows back I can just go back into the bottom right hand corner and it'll have them all back here. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's take a look at Spotlight, which I think Spotlight is probably one of the most useful things in OS X. Uh, just so you know, there is a comparable feature in Windows Vista, which I think they call it Live Search. And in Vista, you just go to the bottom left-hand corner, click the Start menu, and I think it's right there. So in Spotlight, you just go here. So if I want to find, let's say, iMovie, which I already have into my dock, but I'll just do it for an example. I, M, O, and it's already got it down here. And just a bunch of other things, documents in iMovie. For example, I have My Great Movie, which is a project I have. I could just click on that or press enter, and it'll bring me right into it. Really quick way to launch applications. If you don't have them in your dock, like iChat, I don't have them in my dock, but let's say I want a video conference with someone, I, C, H, and it's already got it. So you just go here, press enter, and it'll bring me into iChat. And so for uninstalling, I think I touched on installing earlier, you're basically just going to go in here, into Finder. Let's say I want to uninstall Adium. Pretty sure I can just click and drag into there, but I don't want to do that. I like the program. Show you a bit more on that in part two. And so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments on either techm.com or I'm posting this on YouTube as well. So feel free to comment. If you have any suggestions or things that you'd want to see, just let me know and hope this has helped you out. Hey guys, it's me again, uh, just letting you know I misled you on how to install an application, so I'm going to kind of give you a better idea. So you're going to download the zip or disk image or whatever it is. If it's zip, just double click, it'll extract the disk image. So let's say we have a disk image right here. The disk image, you're just going to want to double click on it, or right click, and then open. And then that will put an application icon right, right around here. And uh, with the application icon, just open up Finder. We'll say this is the application icon for now. Just drag the application icon into the Applications folder right here. But we're not going to do that since this is not an application. And that's pretty much all you have to do to install it. Once you're done, you can just right click on the disk image, press eject disk image, which should be right around here. Uh, 
then once you're done with that, you just take the disk image and put it in the trash.